Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective reading. We're going to go Aries through Pisces. We're going to take a look and see how your person feels about you. So the person that you're thinking about, the person in your heart, in your mind, you're wondering how do they feel about you. We are going to take a look and Keep in mind, this is general collective, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. I will put the timestamps down below. Let's start with Aries first. Aries, how does your person feel about you? They're very defensive. They do have blockages up. They're playing hard to get. They know that you make them smile. If you've been trying to chase this person, Aries, this person likes that you're chasing them. This person likes that you're making them smile when they think about how much they are putting up defensive, but you're still trying to pour into the situation. So let's see what actions this person's going to take towards you, Aries. Okay, so this person with the defenses, they are emotionally unavailable right now. You know, they are really like, they maybe have this reputation of playing hard to get. That they like it when people chase them. They like it when people try to overcome them. They like it when people really desire them. They kind of get off on that. And this is somebody who, they don't have emotions they're not open and receptive to emotion. So it does look like this person is kind of standing in their power waiting for you to work for them. That's why they're playing hard to get because they like it. It makes them smile. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel like their ego gets pumped up by you taking that action. So it looks like this person's not taking action towards you, but they are feeling like by them putting up these walls, up, putting up these blockages, it's making you work harder for them. And they see that and they're appreciating that. It's kind of like you're falling into the trap of what they expected. So it does look like this person feels very much happy with what you're doing. So whatever you're doing, Aries, it is making this person more turned on. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, how does your person feel about you? The person you're thinking about, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, how do they feel about Taurus at this time? They feel at peace. There's a peacefulness when it comes to you, when they think about you. They feel like you're really intelligent and you've taught them a lot about life and a lot about how to be in inner peace. Maybe you're somebody who's very spiritual, very grounded. They also feel that there's an unconditional love that they have when it comes to you. There is a, a deep respect. Feels like you've known this person for a long time, Taurus. This person feels like you're really smart. You're somebody who does not get overworked up. And the, the energy that you put towards them is very conditional or unconditional. Let's see what actions are going to take. This person is trusting the process. They feel like... You are somebody who has been spiritually guided to their life. To teach them about love and compassion. This is somebody who feels safe emotionally around you, Taurus. There's something about your energy is just very grounded and peaceful. And they really thrive on that. They do feel like you're there to help challenge them to be a better version of themselves. They do feel like you bring something to their world that they didn't have before. So maybe this person was a little bit chaotic or a little bit erratic and you ground them. You make them feel safe and secure that they don't have to be that way. And they're learning from you. And so they feel like this is something that they are drawn to. That maybe you're somebody who is very smart with expectations in life or you have good analogies of how to work through certain circumstances and you help teach this person that and this person's very appreciative for that it's helping them build their confidence to be a little more grounded to be a little bit more at ease with their life as a whole gemini
Their feelings for you, Gemini. The person you're thinking about, the person in your heart. What are their feelings for Gemini at this time? Our connection was too much for me. If I call, would you answer? So this is somebody you're maybe not in contact with. I can't explain why I ran away. So this person feels like they can't tell you. That the, the connection was too overwhelming, too stressful, too chaotic. They think about calling you, but they don't want to have to explain or justify why they did what they did, Gemini. So let's see what actions they're going to take. Could be dealing with another Gemini. This person is realizing that they do need to take action. That things got too intense for this person in the past. But now they've had the time to cool off. To have a little bit of space. And now they're ready to put in the effort. They're ready to invest back in the situation. That's what they don't know if, because of the way they ran away, would you even answer? But they are going to try. They're going to make the investment. This is somebody who is resurfacing maybe after a little bit of time, Gemini. Maybe you haven't spoke to this person in like one to two months. They are going to try to come back towards you um, because they haven't given up. But they don't want to have to explain why it was too intense for them. They don't want to have to be too vulnerable too soon. But they are going to try to reach out to you. Cancer. Hey, Cancer, what are their feelings for you? The person in your heart, the person in your mind, Cancer, what are their feelings for Cancer? Good news. I will let go of what I can't control. Okay, so this person maybe was trying to control the situation. They're ready to let go of that control now. They feel the pressure because maybe you're giving them the silent treatment. Maybe you went quiet on them, Cancer, and that's why you're still thinking and you're wondering what is this person feeling. They're feeling under the pressure that because of this silence between the two of you that they will have to let go of control. That's the only way they're going to create this good energy between the two of you. So let's see what actions they're going to take. Yeah, there's the justice card. This person is knowing that the way they were trying to control the situation in the past wasn't fair. It was very one-sided. And now they're coming back in an energy of realizing, you know what? I have to trust cancer and I have to trust that cancer makes the best decisions, not only for themselves, but for me. This person is coming back to be more focused. They're making the decision that they need to do the right thing and they need to be fair and balanced. They can't control the situation, the narrative one-sided. And they feel that pressure because maybe you told them cancer, you know what, I'm not gonna do this. If you're gonna control me, I don't want any part of you. And now they realize that they're under pressure of changing their perspective, that they have to change and look at things differently. And this person is doing that. They're making this unexpected change that maybe you don't think they're going to take. But they are coming back towards you after a period of silence. Leo. Okay, Leo. The person on your mind, the person in your heart, what are their feelings for you, Leo? Lustful desires attracted to you. Major regrets and sadness and I am sorry. So your person is feeling like they're, they're very attracted to you, Leo. They're drawn to you on an intimacy basis. But they have some rage, major regrets over what they said, what they did. And they're sorry for that, Leo. They feel sorry. They feel remorse. They feel regretful. And they're sad without you. So let's take a look and see what actions they're going to take, Leo. Looks like this person is thinking about their life and their future. And they're really conflicted because their head may be telling them, don't take action towards Leo. And their heart is telling them, take action towards Leo. They're very conflicted. But it does look like they're going to lean on that they're too stressed out to really do the right thing. Even though they feel sorry, Leo, and they have a lot of sadness or regret, they're not taking any action to do anything about it. 
they're attracted to you, they think about you on an intimate basis, but the situation really, this person is not putting in the time to try to come towards you to fix things. They're, they're kind of sulking in their sorrow, but they're not really taking any action towards you. Virgo. Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see what your person's feelings are towards you. The person in your heart, the person on your mind. Virgo, what are their feelings towards you? Inner wounds. They feel like you have some wounds that need to be mended. Virgo's person, what are their feelings towards Virgo? New opportunity and indecisive. So this person is not really sure, Virgo, if there's going to be a new opportunity between the two of you. They are indecisive. They're not making a decision just quite yet. Virgo, they could feel like either they have inner wounds or you have inner wounds that need to be worked through before the two of you could try to come back together. Let's see what actions this person's going to take, Virgo. Okay, so it looks like this person is realizing that they need to have a little bit different approach than what they did in the past. They are not 100% sure if they want to have a second chance with you, but they do know that they wish and they desire and they're going to actually come towards you and try to apologize. They're going to try to make their side of things better. They at least want to be able to have the ability to let you know about these feelings and emotions they're thinking. So they're coming towards you a little bit sensible, not really with the, with the hopes of reconciliation. It's almost like this person wants to clear their conscience. They want to be able to let any guilt of anything that they may have done, they don't want it to come back and bite them later. So they're doing the right thing. They want to make sure all is well with you and them, regardless if you two try to reconcile eventually. But this person is realizing they haven't made a decision of what they want, if they want reconciliation, but they have made the decision. They do want to apologize for anything that they've done wrong. They're trying to be the bigger person here. Libra. Okay, Libra, their feelings for you, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, Libra, what are their feelings for you? Promises, they maybe made some promises for the future. I'm planning a surprise for you, okay? They're planning to surprise you, Libra, and they're choosing happiness, and that happiness is with you, Libra. So this is somebody who maybe promised to take you somewhere. I feel like they're gonna blindfold you, and surprise you with something or take you somewhere. Maybe they're gonna take you for a car ride and they're gonna say, oh, put this blindfold on. So it's a surprise, but they're choosing happiness. So let's see what actions they're gonna take. Yeah, so Libra, this person is going to lie to you and tell you that you guys are going somewhere, but that's actually not where you're going. They're taking you somewhere totally different. This person might even be proposing to you for some of you. Um, this person's surprise is that they are very grateful for this connection. There's something that they want you to feel safe and secure within this connection. They want you to know that you can always depend on them. So there's something that they're doing that's going to make you really, really happy and it's going to make them happy. It could be a proposal. It could be they want to take you back home and introduce you to their family. They maybe want to take you back to the town that they grew up. They want to show you the place, um, you know, where they went to school or what the home that was their childhood home. There's something about they're going to lie to you and keep it a secret, but it's not like a malicious secret. It's actually the promise that they are fulfilling is that they want to make you happy they're bringing in a sense of stability and security in this connection and it's going to elevate to make the happiness even more emanated between the two of you Libra Scorpio okay Scorpio what are their feelings for you the person in your heart the person in your mind what is Scorpio's person's feelings for them? Single. I'm hearing single as a Pringle. Web of lies, Scorpio. And divine love. So, Scorpio, your person may feel that you said you were single, but you're not, or they said they were single, but they're not. And they're realizing that this connection is more in sync 
with divine guidance that it should be than you being with someone else or them being with someone else. So this one, this one is a little bit interesting here. So let's see what's going to happen. What's going to be their actions here for Scorpio? Ten of Cups. Wow. King of Pentacles and Justice. Beautiful, Scorpio. This is somebody who is really happy. They are emotionally content and satisfied in this connection. The more time they spend with you, the more and more they gain the knowledge that they feel like you could be their ever after person. You could be the one. Now, you may not even be exclusive with this person. That could be why the web of lies and singles is out here because maybe this person said they wanted to stay single, but they're lying to themselves. That's not what they want. They're actually grounding their energy. They're gaining financial security because they want everything to be absolutely beautiful between the two of you with the justice. This person's given to this connection for the long term. They're expecting a win-win outcome because of this divine love. They feel like the two of you are really in sync. So you both could be lying to each other about, oh, we're just friends or we're just casually dating. We're not exclusive yet. And that's why Web of Lies could be there is because you both are not really single. You're already together. You just are not putting a label on it. You're both really happy with each other. And your person is really ready to embrace, you know, the longevity, the long term with you. So they are going to keep building these milestones with you because they feel like this situation from all angles, they look at it, that the two of you are meant to be together, that they could see being with you forever. Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, what are their feelings for you, Sagittarius? I think about you all the time, okay? So if you're thinking about your person, Sagittarius, watching this video, they're thinking about you all the time. What else are their feelings? They're trying to follow their heart. Their heart is leading them to you. And they are lonely without you. So this week, Sagittarius, if you're not in contact or you don't see your person, they're really lonely without you this week. So let's see what actions they're going to take towards Sagittarius. Two of Cups. Beautiful. King of Cups. You know, Sagittarius, this person, if this is an ex that you have reconciled with, this person is changing and transforming, and they're hoping that there's going to be a new direction. They feel clearly that the two of you are supposed to be together, that this sense of security and home within each other's heart is there. They feel that way. They feel you feel that way, maybe intuitively. And they're lonely when they're not with you. They could feel like you're their soulmate. There's something about, this is a really solid connection and they're trusting the process. This person is using this situation um, to help them understand more about what their heart is yearning. And that could be why they think about you all the time because they do love you or they do feel that there is a soul connection or a soul bond with the two of you. Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, what are their feelings for you at this time? Capricorn, I'm sorry I lied to you. Okay, so your person was not being honest. They're also not backing down. I'm done playing games. So Capricorn, your person might have been playing some games with you and keeping secrets from you. They're sorry that they lied or that they're done playing games. They're done lying. They're not backing down from what they say they're going to do now. So let's see what actions they're gonna take, Capricorn. Okay, so it looks like this person it does have um, high intuition. They could be psychic. This is somebody who's trusting their heart and they're trusting their intuition. Their intuition has told them that you didn't deserve to be lied to and you didn't deserve the games they played on you. And now they're developing what they know their intuition to teach them a lesson that they can't do that. This is somebody who maybe is spending more time by themselves doing self-reflection and trying to recover from what they did. This is somebody who wants to be happy and successful, but they maybe don't know how to do that in a relationship. They don't know how not to be manipulative. They don't know how not to lie. Maybe they've always had to do that in other relationships because they never recognized their own potential. They felt like they had to be somebody that they weren't. So it does look like this person is learning the lesson 
and they're enjoying what they're learning. So it does look like communication might be coming in from this person if you guys have not been speaking. They're not gonna back down from continuing to learn what their intuition is telling them on the inside that they need to discover themselves more. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Their feelings for you, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, Aquarius, what is your person's feelings for you? I believe in myself, so this person believes in what their self is telling them. I'm cleaning up my life, toxic relationship, and stability and security. Okay, so this person feels like they lacked the maturity, the accountability, and believing who they could be with you, Aquarius. This person knows that they created a lot of toxicity. They're finally releasing that. They're gaining a sense of stability and security by cleaning up their act and doing the right thing. Good things are coming here. It looks like balance. Nice. So this is somebody you do have a strong past or a strong history with here. This person's actions is they're going to be very successful in overcoming whatever has made them so toxic. So it could be a belief system. It could be people around them. It could be a cultural thing. It could be a value system where they're realizing that things, how they used to be, don't have to be that way anymore. And they're making the conscious effort to do the work. They're rolling up their sleeves, they're making the adjustments and change in their life, and they're really having the control to balance out healing themselves and getting their life together, and they're truly believing in themselves for once. And this person is gonna come towards you and present this new found identity of who they are, a different version. And they're excited to come towards you because they're very nostalgic about you. There's something about you and the inner child and their inner child have something in common. It could be because you had a past life together. You could be soulmates. You could be karmic mates. You could be um, people that just dated in the past or maybe your friends in the past. But this person wants an opportunity to present this new version of themselves. And they're really excited that they're finally believing who they need to be, not who they were. Pisces. Okay, Pisces, the person, your person's feelings, the person in your heart, the person in your mind, what are their feelings towards you right now? They want to know if you're dating other people, Pisces. They feel like you're dating other people. They're curious to know if you're dating other people. They know that their dreams are possible with you. Whatever they dreamt about or they wanted, they know that it's possible, but they are wounded. They are realizing that they don't want you to date other people. They don't want to date other people, but they are wounded. So let's see what actions they're going to take, Pisces. All major arcana, Pisces. This person's really going through it. Look at that. We've got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So this person is realizing now they need to close out a cycle. Something about this wounded energy that they've been in for quite some time, they're realizing that they're the only ones who can get that done, who can close that out and be actually proud to overcome it. So what they're doing is they're spending some time in isolation. They're doing some introspection. They're realizing if they dream about having this life with you and communicating with you, that it is possible. They just need to have this fresh start. They need to do the work. And it does look like this person is going to. They're making that choice and decision that those intimate wounds are affecting this connection. And if they dream about having a life with you and you not dating other people, they need to make the choice to listen to their heart. And their heart and their soul is telling them that now is the time for them to make it work, to put in the work to be the best version of themselves. And once they do that, then the mess that was a part of the past, they can close out and they can come towards you. They can have this union. This could be somebody that feels that there is a soul connection. There's a strong bond between the two of you. But this person wants to free themselves of whatever these wounds are from the past. 